Radiation Exposure X-rays ionize human tissue and deposit energy that can cause harmful changes within the body. There is a cancer risk from X-rays. The dose of radiation is cumulative. X-rays are considered for carcinogen list. The government is attempting to avoid the use of unnecessary CT scans and X-rays to avoid unnecessary exposure to radiation. This highlights the cancer risk. Doctors need to pay close attention to the risk involved with the use of X-rays. The cancer risk associated with radiation exposure is documented in cases of atomic bomb survivors. The risk for medical uses is controversial and usually played down by physicians. Radiation at a high level is carcinogenic. The level of radiation from X-ray exposure is low. The effects of low-level radiation is not known. So what is the safe radiation level? The safe level is not known. It is known that CT scans, fluoroscopy, mammography, and x-rays expose the public to a high level of radiation, especially in young females. The risk of exposure should balance the medical benefits. Optimize radiation doses by exposing the patient only to enough radiation to get a clear image. There is a growing concern about the risk associated with giving a patient large doses of radiation. The use of CT scans has increased recently in adults and children, possibly exposing the patient to an unnecessary high dose of radiation. The CT scan is the method most often used to diagnose cancer, diseases, fractures, and it exposes the patient to a much larger dose of radiation than x-rays. Radiation from CT scan of the pelvis equals the same amount as 100 chest x-rays. Children are 10 times more sensitive to radiation than adults. 3 to 4 million children receive CT scans and about 1,500 of them will develop cancer two decades later. Children should not be given an adult dose of radiation. Radiation Dose Limits CT scan of the pelvis has the highest level of exposure to the skin, marrow, and gonads. Use a mini fluoroscopy C-arm whenever possible. Radiation exposure with fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy emits a lot of radiation. The closer the extremity is to the radiation source, the higher the dose of radiation the patient receives. When the distance from the beam increases, the dose of radiation is less. Radiation intensity follows the inverse square law. It is all about distance. If the intensity of radiation at 1 meter from the source is 100 millirankin per hour, then the intensity of radiation at 2 meters from the source is 1 fourth or 25 millirankin per hour in same unit area. At 3 meters from the source, the intensity of radiation is 1 ninth the original, or 11.1 .1 millirankin per hour. There is less exposure to the physician when imaging a smaller body part. Larger body parts create an increased exposure to the physician when imaging a patient with the CR. Do not be in the direct path of the radiation beam. Radiation protection is of importance with monitoring, shielding, and position. Monitoring protection should be used with a disometer badge. A disometer badge only records how much radiation you have received. 
It does not protect you from exposure to radiation. Shielding protection of fluoroscopy radiation. Lead gowns and aprons work to stop exposure. Lead aprons attenuate scattered radiation by about 95%. Rapidly dividing cells are most sensitive to radiation exposure, such as sperm, lymphocytes, the small intestines, and stomach. Radiation damage seldom appears at the time of irradiation. The first effects of radiation damage is usually seen as a drop in the white blood cell count. The first external sign of damage is seen as a skin burn. Studies suggest that people who use fluoroscopy extensively have a higher rate of cataracts. Early effects of radiation exposure could include death, hematologic depression, chromosome aberration, skin urethema, or epilation. Here are some facts about team exposure to radiation. CT scan examination is usually done without justification by most insurances. It is opinion that one-third of CT scan studies that are given could be avoided. Giving unnecessary studies causes an added cancer risk with no benefit. The CT scan study should be justified. There is no close oversight or uniform standard in order to eliminate radiation exposure. This must be done. Patient education is important. The patient should ask if the study is necessary and what is the lowest dose possible that can be given without compromising the study. There should be a universal x-ray bank where patients' x-rays can be accessible anywhere from any hospital. This would avoid the unnecessary repeating of x-rays. In summary, the bone marrow, breast tissue, gonads, and lymphatic tissue are susceptible to radiation-induced tumors. It's important to shield the gonads from exposure. Always wear lead aprons and monitor the radiation exposure with a dosimeter badge. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.